Today, I'll show you how to set up permanent generic links between your controller, FL Studio and plugins. I'll start by linking the first four sliders on this controller to the first four insert track faders on the mixer. First, select the multi-link controller switch and then tweak the list of interface targets you want to link. One, two, three and four. Tweak as many as you like or think you can remember. Then right click the multi-link controller switch and select override generic links. Now tweak the physical controller knobs or sliders in the order you want to link them. So you can see sliders 1 to 4 control faders 1 to 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Moving on. Let's link some knobs to synthesizer targets. I often find myself in Harmless using the frequency and pluck controls, so I'll link those. Again, select the multi-link controller switch, tweak the interface targets in the order you want to link them, pluck and frequency. Then, right-click the switch and select override generic links. So pluck will be this knob and frequency this one. There we go, pluck and frequency control done. So I want to use the same controls on Citrus, so let's link them to the XY knobs on the main panel. Again, click the multi-link controller switch, tweak the interface targets, then right click the switch and select override generic links. And finally, tweak the knobs on the controller. There we have it, X and Y linked. If we now go to Harmless, it's focused because I clicked on it. The same knobs control the pluck and frequency cutoffs. So a nice feature is that with just a few controls, you can reuse them on as many plugins as you want. And these links will be there next time you start FL Studio, so there's no need to relink anything. As I'm demonstrating, the interface that's focused, last clicked on, determines what's controlled mixer, citrus, or harmless. What about badly behaved third party VST plugins? Most VSTs publish their parameters, and the linking procedure is exactly the same as you've just seen. However, if you tweak a VST interface target and it isn't recognised by FL Studio, you'll need to open the current project generator's wrapper for the VST, and you'll need to work out which MIDI CC parameters relates to the interface control. It's then very similar to before. Select the multi-link controller switch, but this time click the interface CC targets in the list, then right click the switch and select override generic links. Finally, tweak the knobs on the controller and you're done. So let's have a look at where this data is saved, since you may want to back it up or even delete it to start over at some point. It's in the FL Studio installation folder, System Configuration Mapping Generic. But it's easy to get to, just right click something in the browser like Backup and then select Windows Shell Menu, Open, and you'll be dropped into the FL Studio installation folder. I'll just back up into the FL Studio install and go down into System Configuration Mapping Generic. In here, you'll see folders for each controller you've used. Generic is the default. If you go into a folder, you'll see files for each interface or plugin target that you've linked. Feel free to delete any of these files. Or, at the level above, you may want to back these up. The Adventurous can open them in a text editor and see the format, their standard XML files. The Intrepid will work out how to edit them. Until next time, start making your permanent global links. Mm -hmm.